What's going on, guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. NFL Week 14, time flies. Uh, let's get into it. In today's video, we're going to go through the whole entire slate, both from a side and total perspective. Of course, if you want my best bets, my premium plays, you got to become a member here on the channel. There's actually a video, uh, if you click on my channel right on the welcome page, a video goes over everything in detail uh, about the membership. Uh, in, in, in the short answer, $1 to $2 per pick, anywhere from 15 to 30 premium picks a month. So consider uh, the subscription for being a member here on the channel. Let's get into it. Let's get into week 14. Rams, Ravens. Well, it's going to be rainy. It's going to be windy. I'd lean under. I'd lean the Ravens. I mean, how much are the Rams going to score here? I know the spread's seven and a half. The hook stinks in a rainy, low-scoring game. But guys, they got to travel to the east, rain and wind, an L.A. team. Stafford's usually good in the pass. Ravens defense? It would have to be Ravens or under for me. Carolina and the Saints. God, I mean, you got to take the under here. Saints defense at home. They're going to step up in this spot. Saints have looked absolutely atrocious, but luckily for them, they're in a division so bad that somehow they still have life to make the playoffs. I expect them to rally against the Panthers here. Uh, I'd lean Saints laying the five and a half, uh, despite how bad the Saints have been. Colts, Bengals. Uh, the Bengals are now a favorite in this game. Uh, the public is on the Bengals here, but I don't care. I'd lean Bengals. I think Jake Browning... Um, this might be a stretch, but I don't think he's that far off from Joe Burrow. Everyone needs their shot, guys. You, you don't know who someone is until they get their shot. And, and until this guy proves me otherwise, I like this Browning kid. He looks good. A lot of talent on the Bengals. Minshew, I don't know if we trust him. Uh, I'd, lean, I'd lean Bengals on the money line here. I wouldn't deal with the point and a half. I'd just take Bengals on the money line at minus 134. I'd also lean over in the game. Uh, both teams can certainly score, and both teams are also erratic. And with quarterbacks that you can't totally trust, maybe you get some turnovers and some short fields, which will add to more points. So I'd lean over in the Bengals. Jags, Browns, God. Total's 33 and a half. I think you lean under. I think you lean Browns. Flacco, yeah, it wasn't so good at the end, but he looked pretty good. Um, I don't like the look of that Jacksonville quarterback that's going to be playing. Um, I don't like the defense for the Jags here. It, it, it'd be the Browns for me laying the field goal. And it'd be the under 33 and a half. I think we're looking at 17-13 type game. Bucks, Falcons. The Bucks, I want to take the Bucks here. I want I want to like the Bucks here. Divisional game it was a three-point game the first time these two teams played. The way this division looks, this game is absolutely critical for both. Um, to have points in your back pocket's not a bad thing. But at the end of the day, Bucks have crazy injuries. Crazy. Both good linebackers are out. Um, the Falcons are probably gonna run on them. I don't trust the coaching of the Bucks. The attra- I mean, I like Baker Mayfield. I like his competitive spirit, but Bucks being a public underdog, I'd lean Falcons on the money line at home, and I'd lean the under in this game, I think. Uh, I just don't know how much these teams are going to score. The first game was 16-13. to 13. Maybe this maybe this one's 20-17. to 17. I don't know. I'd lean under. I, I, I'd lean the Falcons. Detroit-Chicago. Detroit, Chicago. Well, the weather isn't going to be as nasty as I originally thought. A little bit of wind, but pretty pretty good weather for Chicago, so I'm not concerned about that. I like the offenses, um, but the Bears' defense has stepped up tremendously. I'd lean taking the three points with the Bears, and I'd lean under. Texans, Jets, that's just a disgusting game. Um, right off the bat, you got to lean Texans. Three in the hook. Boy, I don't know. Jets' defense can keep you in games, but... Texans are off kind of an emotional win, too, squeaking past the Broncos. Three and a half. Three and a half. Wilson will be back for this one. Their little experiment's coming to a, to, coming to a close here. You know, I'd lean the over, and I'd lean the Texans. Seahawks and the Niners, bad spot for the Niners laying double digit. The Niners are wildly a better team. I mean, if they wanted to, they can win by 30. Do they want to? In the NFL, there's no style points. You don't have to impress a, a, a playoff committee like you do in college. They can coast to a four, seven point win if they want to. They can coast to a 10 point win if they want to. I'd lean Seattle in the points here just because of the spot, and I'd lean the over. Uh, Gino can certainly rack up some points if they are down by a bunch in the fourth quarter. Maybe San Fran turns to a prevent defense 
and Gino gets some points there with uh, with the talent they have on offense um, to get this thing over the total. The Niners are going to get their points. I'd lean over. I'd lean Seattle in the points. Vikings, Raiders, wow, 40 and a half. That seems low. Justin Jefferson back for the Vikes. I think that frees up people like Addison and Hawkinson. Dobbs, I think will look a little bit better. The Raiders are good against the run. They got Crosby. They got some decent people on the D-line, but not not in the secondary. And there's offensive talent on the Raiders. I'd lean over, and I'd, le- I'd probably lean the Raiders at home, man. You just never know at home. They can rally. They can put some pressure on you. Dobbs might throw a pick or two. Uh, he's kind of coming back down to earth off his little fairy tale streak there. I'd lean catching three points with the Raiders. I'd lean over. Broncos, Chargers, Broncos... Yeah, it's a bounce back spot, but is it really? I mean, maybe they're just regressing back to the team they actually are. I don't think the Broncos are that good. Give me the better quarterback at home. Broncos are a big public underdog. Uh, 68% of the money against the spread is on the Broncos plus two and a half. Give me the Chargers minus two and a half here. And uh, I think I like the under in this game. Chargers beat the Patriots 6-0. Denver has a pretty good defense. And uh, the Chargers charger. So look for them to have kind of a flat fourth quarter, kind of a stalemate there. Give me the Chargers minus two and a half. And give me the under. Bills, Chiefs, man. I mean, the Chiefs didn't look good against the Packers here. Um, they're going to have to score if they want to stay in this. The Bills are going to score. The Bills are going to score in this game. Their offense has been good their last two games. I'd lead over. I'd lean the Bills. By the way, very big. Very confident premium pick on that game, just to consider. Uh, same with this game. Uh, Cowboys-Eagles, I'd probably lean over 51.5. Uh, the Cowboys' average points at home is obviously pretty impressive. Uh, we saw the first game. Um, I think the Cowboys could have capitalized a little bit more. The Eagles certainly can score, and the Eagles have Dallas Goddard back in the lineup. That should help them get some points and take some pressure off of Brown and Smith. Um, I'd lean over 51.5. I think it's the highest total on the board this week, but it's not crazy. It's not crazy. I mean, you only 51 and a half, mid 20s a piece. Not crazy. Um, Philly's a pretty big public underdog here. I'd lean Cowboys. Uh, I'd lean the points over. Titans, Miami. What do you do at this one? 13 and a half. So I don't like games like this because it's basically up to Miami with what they want to do. Do they want to kill him? Do they want to kill him? I don't know. I'd probably lean the points. It's just a ton, but it's a road road game here. Uh, Miami can certainly score at will, and the Titans, they are off of that that crushing loss to the Colts, so uh, maybe they're totally flat in this spot. Um, 13 and a half is just a lot. I, I, I just don't know. I assume a lot of money. In, yeah, a lot of money on the Dolphins. 13 and a half. I'd probably take the points, and I'd probably... I'd probably take the the under. I mean, the, are, are the Dolphins just going to coast in this game? I don't know. 46 and a half. Give me the under. Give me the Titans. No idea. That game's yucky. And the final game, Monday night, Packers minus six and a half, total of 37. Uh, well, the weather is going to suck. After this storm blows through the East Coast, it'll be extremely windy on Monday uh, for the New York game. High winds. Give me the under. And it's six, six and a half is crazy. I mean, the Packers are going to win the game, but six and a half, I think Barkley could have a pretty good game on the ground. I'd probably lean the points with the Giants, but who wants to do that against a Packers team that's looked pretty good as of late and, and, and it's kind of re-inspired by their playoff uh, uh, hopes. I mean, it's looking pretty good right now for the Packers to squeak into the playoffs. So uh, I, I, I'd lean the Giants here to cover. I'd lean the under. Packers win. So... Full slate, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. What game's your favorite? What spread is your favorite? What under over is your favorite? Who do you like? I want to know in the comments, and so does everybody else. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.